Welcome! So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you or teach you on how to add Ring Doorbell to Google Home. So if you want to know how I did it, just keep on watching. So Ring Doorbells are not natively compatible with Google Home. Ring devices are primarily designed to work with the Ring app and the Amazon Alexa ecosystem. However, there is a workaround that involves integrating Ring with Google Home using a third-party service called IFTTT, and it stands for If This Then That. So IFTTT allows you to create applets and automated actions that connect different devices and services together. So here's a general guide on how to connect Ring Doorbell to Google Home using IFTTT. So first of all, you need to download the IFTTT app, install the IFTTT app on your mobile device from the Apple Store if you are using iOS or Google Play Store if you are using Android. Now, create an IFTTT account. So open the IFTTT app and create a new account or login if you already have one. After you've done that, connect Ring and Google Home to IFTTT. So in the app, go to my Apple Let's or Apple, I don't know how to pronounce it, or browse to find available Apple Let's. So look for Apple Let's uh, that integrate Ring with Google Home. This Apple Let's allow you to trigger certain actions such as announcing doorbell events on Google Home speakers. Then, enable and customize the Apple Let's. So once you find an Apple Let that suits your need, enable it and follow the on-screen instructions to connect your Ring and Google Home accounts. You may need to provide authorization and grant permission for IFTTT to access your Ring and Google Home devices. Then, you need to test and configure. After enabling the Apple Let, you can test the integration by ringing your Ring doorbell and checking if the configured actions such as Spoken Announcement or Google Home are occurs. Please note that the specific steps may vary depending on the app, version, and available applets. It is recommended to explore the IFTTT app and its Ring-related applets for the most up-to-date and detailed instructions. So keep in mind that using third-party services like IFTTT may have limitations and may, and may not offer the same level of integration and functionality as official native integrations. It is always a good idea to review the features, compatibility, and privacy policies of third-party services before using them with your smart home devices. And that's it. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you won't miss a video. See you in the next one and have a great day!